I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Jonas! Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... What is it... Like, what does it feel like when that happens? Is you forget stuff, really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or... I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk, and... But you, like, see stuff, right? Like, when I saw Michael on the beach, Yeah, and I, you... I see stuff, but it's like, I don't know, they're like dreams. They just dissolve when I'm back. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Okay, I have a time limit for rambling nonsense, so let's pick it up a bit. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no, you don't have to put it like, it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Huh? I didn't screw up. How was I supposed to know her mom was gonna call in the car stolen? I thought she had permission. Give me a break. Even if you didn't know, which come on, even if you didn't know that, you still knew you didn't have permission to go to the concert. <sighs> just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Uh, commit? What the hell does that mean? You're in high school. <laughs> I know, I know. I sound like I'm 40, but I'm just, I don't know. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be casual anymore. It's gonna be a thing, a real thing. That's all. So just get used to her. That's all I'm saying. Come on, let's get to the century before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Really? Why leave? I mean, yeah, it can suck sometimes, but it's pretty much like everywhere else. This is going to sound weird, but everybody knows me here. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. Oh, shut up. 
<laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Alex? Stop it. Just stop. Ugh. You got, you know, you went bad again. I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. This is the Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kenaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies both foreign and domestic. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is... It's just like a... Say anything about what? What are you guys talking about? We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked. Right? You asked? Ugh. Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just gonna sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. Hey, one man's depressant is another chick's upper. Aw, how cute. Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Okay, well, I'm happy for you, but we still have the little issue of submarine ghosts to, um, exercise. Yeah, that thing. I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No. Well, I'm sorry. I don't... I don't know what else to say, really. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. This is stupid, but can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting... <sighs> All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So... Make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. We'll be back. Oh, I know. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah.
Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Is this a joke? Yeah, it's a... What do you call a man that's short of time? Tim. You call him Tim. Huh. <sighs> oh, brother. Yeah, it's... It's... It feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... If Yugoslavia, or whoever, dropped an A-bomb on their heads. No, I think it would have worked. There's enough tons of concrete here to keep them from mutinying out, I think. Wait, it's... Oh, damn. It's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out... Don't talk like that, all right? Nothing's going to happen. There's no way this ends like that. We won't let it. I'm not asking. I'm telling. Okay, Mr. Dramatic. Will you just shut up and help me with the door? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the... Okay, if it'll make you feel better, we'll investigate the case of Jonas's mom's weird song before we save our lives. Sounds perfect. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? It's... it sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... It's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that. The voice, right? I can kind mom? of hear Whoa. it. Uh... Jonas, wait! 